Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back over here to Squidward, because that's where we left off last time. Or, that's that's how far we got last time. We actually left off right there where I started. Because we went back to go get that spatula. But now we have to... Top of the stack of ships. I'm guessing we have to go to the top of the stack of ships. And... Die? Nope. And die? There we go. Sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. There you go, Thunder- uh, Stone Tiki. Die. So, I haven't, uh, grinded up the, uh, remainder of the pretty things I need to get into the, um... <clears throat> what is it, the, uh, theater yet? I'm still not totally sure what that does for me. But, uh, I do want to unlock that. <clears throat> so, we are gonna do that. At some point, unless I just get the amount of pretty things I need here and, uh, everything, and assuming I don't find a solution to the, um, Sandman, uh, sock problem, uh, I'm probably not gonna waste my time going to go get all the other things. I mean, if I can find a solution to it, yeah, but I feel like I've tried just about everything I can so far. Even, even turning to exploits, as a commenter mentioned, and everything, so it's like, I don't know what mu what much more I could do besides just restarting my game, and I'm just not willing to put in the time to do that. That's uh, a lot of dedication, and would require a lot of time on my part to just completely redo the entire game again and collect everything. <clears throat> and who's to say the same bug wouldn't happen to me again? So it's like, eh. But yeah, and if we're not doing that, then I don't have to grind up all of the pretty things for Mr. Krabs, so I could just kind of cannibalize the pretty things I originally had in mind for that, and uh, use those to open the theater, because if it is something I can actually get, I do want to do it, but I don't think you unlock things for having, like, partial amounts of socks or any of that. I think you it's either an all or nothing kind of thing. If I don't have all of them, there's no points. So it's like, eh. But... Still hoping some way I can find out something that will allow me to get that secret ending. Because it sounds interesting. I don't even know what the hell a secret ending in a Spongebob game would be. Okay. And probably not something too wild, to be fair, but... Still, I want to see it if it's there. <clears throat> and I've, I've already put in a lot of the work to get it. I've actually been doing a lot better on socks in these later levels. So there's that. Just making sure there wasn't a alternate path to take over here. Whereas I kind of just went along that path really quickly. Ooh, I see you. How does one get to you? I don't think this is enough. Or is it? <clears throat> it is. Cool. I just actually had to spy it. Well, there we go. Made that pretty easily. Alright, so that's where we came from. So we gotta go this way. And this will lead us to a bus stop, which we need to use because we got to switch to Spongebob to do this next part. Get in here, Spongebob. Here we go. And now let's sponge jump our way all the way up here. I do like the wall jump with Spongebob. It feels pretty good to use because you can just kind of mash the button a lot and it'll uh, do what you need it to. That was risky, and I'm not sure why I went through that much trouble for such a paltry amount of those things, but, uh, here we are. Okay, that's- that was- that was weird. I've never done it from the side before. Like, side wall jumping? It's weird. I think- oh wait, no, 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 wait, what, what the hell am I talking about? No, I've done it from the side, I was- okay, I was getting my directions mixed up. It's- it's early, again, because for some reason I always do this early, but- I've never done it where I'm, like, sliding down, is what I was trying to say. Because you kind of slide off this thing, so you gotta go super fast. I guess it's because it, it's cloth and it has, like, ectoplasm on it. So you slide down a lot. Yeah, I guess the other thing I was trying to say was, um... <clears throat> I've never actually... I've always just used this wall jump ability to go vertically. But I'm using it here to go horizontally. Like this. I'm just kind of mashing back and forth so I can get across a gap. I've never actually used it like that before. It's always just been used to get higher up. 
so weird. There's a clam over here. Was there anything else this way? I don't see anything. All right, well, I'm guessing that's nothing then. I do see that clam, but whoop. I didn't mean to jump twice there. That was uh, almost bad. I think I held down the A button just a little bit too long. So that made me like start to auto jump. All right, clam. What you got for me? Ooh, open the bungee. Ah, I see. Well, SpongeBob, get in there. And up we go. Cool, there's another spatula. So, how many is that now? Okay, there's only... Well, we know how to get the one at the end of this level. Those are usually pretty simple. But uh, after that, we only have three left. Excuse me, what was... Oh, that was... That was the checkpoint thing. I was like, wait, is that an enemy behind me? But no, it's just the ball on the checkpoint. It was just showing up. And I was like, whoa, what was that? I was scared. Okay, get me across here. There we go. That was a neat little platforming section. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of thought and it's not difficult, but it feels cool to do at the very least, which sometimes is all I ask. Okay, this is just getting crazy now. What the hell? This is just getting crazy. Oh, I messed that up apparently. Looks like you gotta time this correctly. And I failed again. <clears throat> so now, there we go. Oh geez, this is hard. Oh, okay, I was doing it the wrong way before and I kind of cheesed it right there, I'm gonna be honest. Weird. Okay, jump, 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 jump. There we go. There was just more of a rhythm to it than I was actually employing. Like, I was kind of just going crazy with it, but that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Yeah, laugh at me all you want, but I have the power of bubbles and bowling on my side. <laughs> it was an attempt at making a joke with that meme of I have the power of God and anime on my side. I believe is how the meme goes. Alright, another spatula. Alright, so now what? Does this move? Oh, okay, this is just how you travel to the ship. Alrighty. Hi, uh, Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Aye, 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 aye. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well... It's a good one, though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. <clears throat> oh, God, that was... SpongeBob, that was horrible. Even for you. That was really bad. Jeez. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll just we'll just ignore that and act like that was never uttered. I mean, I can't really say anything. I make I make pretty bad puns sometimes too. A lot of the time, actually. So can I get up there from here? I don't think so. Can I climb on the rigging? I can't. You just fall right through the rigging. In fact. Poor SpongeBob, he just goes right through rigging. Okay, these are just falling behind me? Wow, that's some weak wood. Get out of here. All right, are there any of the spawner things here? I don't see any, whoop, ow. The game skipped a tiny bit there, which created some issues. All right, so how do I destroy the, oh, we just hit him with our bubble wand. Which does a frankly amazing amount of damage to metal. Gotta say. Also, why why aren't all these robots rusting? They have some side some sort of anti-rust alloy. Alright, so oop. Hidden pair of underwear. Making sure there's nothing hidden over here. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so what are we doing here? Am I supposed to be flying around these things? The shinier, the better. I don't think so. 
Oh, I think I'm supposed to get up there? Hmm. Oh, and I was- yeah, I just realized I totally forgot to do the bubble bowling there with, uh, Spongebob. Okay, so we gotta switch back. Yeah, in the middle of all that combat and hitting all the generators and stuff, I just- Even though it's a big giant icon right in front of me, I completely forgot to do it. There's Go away. Like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Spongebob, what have I told you about inhalants? And how you shouldn't use them. Ow. Okay, so what is the what is the point of this? Oh, if I get on it, it's gonna take me back across. But yeah, I need Sandy to do that, so go away. So let's bring it back down again. Hello? There we go. For some reason it didn't work that one time I did it. I might not have charged it up again. We've seen that uh that's caused problems with bubble bowling before. So all right, so we need Sandy because she has the lasso helicopter so that she can make it over here. Hit that. Go away. I wonder if I didn't even realize I was killing all of his friends. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. All right, so now we just fly back across, correct? Yes, that is what we do. Oh! Sandy didn't grab it. I pressed B, but she didn't grab it. She was like, no, I don't wanna. Okay, where am I at? Okay, cool, just back here. But that does mean I have to switch back to SpongeBob. <laughs> or wait, does it? Does it? Can I just catch those things from... I might be able to, actually. Let's see if we can do that. Just kind of catch these from uh, right here. Don't lock onto the enemy. Damn it! She locked onto the enemy for too long, so I couldn't actually lock onto the grab, uh, grapple point that I wanted to get. Come on, I'm trying to cheat the system here a little bit. Can you please? Um, this isn't a very good spot to catch it. You know what? Just die. There we go. So, now, grab it, Sandy. Oh. Whew. Okay, oh wow, I took the totally wrong way last time. But I want to get up there to that thing. That's what I want to do. Come on. Got it. I couldn't even see it, but I got it. Whew. Um, so how do I get up there to you? I'm not sure. Okay, well, we made it. Yeah, how do I get to you? That's weird. Not really sure how to go about doing that. Guess let's fly over here. So that was the intended way to get up there, I guess? Was just, like, kind of going across those platforms? Alright, well, oh, I need to switch to SpongeBob for this. Yeah, how do I- may maybe once I complete all of this, like, I shoot all the cannons and everything, maybe that spatula just falls down or something? Okay, that's two out of four. Ah, uh, we also need to hit that one. Luckily, there's a bus stop right here. So we can just fly over there with Sandy. Lasso you for no reason in particular. Alright, so the last one... Where is this last one at? I need to switch back to SpongeBob because Sandy does not have a ground pound. Alright, so... Yeah, there's a button over there. What does that button do? Oh, does that just take me back? Yeah, I think that just lowers the thing to take me back. So where is this next cannon? There's one... Oh. Is it really just this one? Thought I already pressed this one. All cannons ready to fire. Okay, and that's another spatula that we get for that. Okay. Weird. So now we just have to get back up there. Which is easier said than done, to be sh to be fair. Because um, getting up there with Spongebob is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, there's no real good way of getting up there with you, so I guess we gotta go back and switch to Sandy, so... I'm just gonna cut this part out. I'll see you when I'm back up there with Sandy. Okay.
Okay, we're over here. I died once trying to get over here, but we're over here. And I also can't help but notice this little boost pad back here. That could potentially get me up onto the mast where that golden spatula is hiding. Let's go ahead and hit this button first, though. Uh, with SpongeBob, not Sandy. Alright, so... Smash. Die, robot scum. We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! That you did! But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ha! Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. Let's beat him up. Let's do it. Uh... So wait, is it telling me to go back to the beginning, top of the entrance area? Or defeat the Flying Dutchman? Okay, never mind. Let's let's go back here, because there is another spatula hiding out here. We can defeat the Flying Dutchman in a second. But there be... Oh, that really sucks though, like... Now I have to get back up there, again. Yeah, that sucks. But I wanted to press that button while I was up there because jumping down from there it's may have meant I couldn't have getting, gotten back up there anyway and I would have to do this again as well. But yeah, I'll see you once I'm back up there and we'll hit that little bouncy pad and see where it takes us. Alright, bouncy pad ahoy. And drop. Does it do what I thought it did? Yes. Yes it does. All right, now let's go defeat the Flying Dutchman. All right, what you got for me? So we're back here. We can switch to anybody that we want to. Or actually, no, it makes us Sandy. Lasso the tail, phase one. How? Well, let's just go ahead and grab those, I guess. How... I don't really get an opportunity to lasso the tail. There we go. Phase two, keep hurting the ghost. Haha, -ha. yeah, pet your tail. Alright. So when you fly across, I basically get an opportunity to do it. I guess that's how this works. Since when did uh, the Flying Dutchman have eye lasers? Am I forgetting something? He may have done that in an episode. In fact, now that I say it, I feel like I vaguely recall him having eye lasers at some point. But, uh, yeah. Alright, you coming? There we go. Ow, he actually hurt me there. Has your tail hurt, Dutchie? Alright. Pretty easy, we just have to, basically as long as you're walking in a straight line and uh, don't really make any turns, you'll dodge that just about every time. I just screw up sometimes. Of course we all do, that's part of being human. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Dutchman? Of course, I guess you haven't been a ghost your entire life. You probably remember what it's like to be human, I guess. And there we go. Oh, you're not gonna... We got we got one more... One more round of eye lasers before you try to... Like, fly across the platform and blow on me or whatever it is you do. Alright, there you go. Had enough, you dirty ghost! Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice! Everyone stop fighting! I think I have an idea! Here you go! Oh! 
It looks like my ship. It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. All right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. Really? Okay, well that was easier than expected. <laughs> I didn't expect him to actually give up then. Alright, so how many socks did I miss here? One. One sock I missed here. Interesting, so... If things hadn't messed up, I would have had to get two socks in Spongebob's Dream, one in the graveyard, one in the kelp forest, one in the Mermelair, <laughs> two in Sand Mountain, three in Goolagoon, six in Bikini Bottom, one in Jellyfish Fields that I needed the cruise ball before, so that would be easy to get. And two in downtown Bikini Bottom. So that really wouldn't have been that bad. So we've beaten everything now. I think we just have the final boss. Yeah. Which I may leave until next time so that I can grind up the uh, pretty things that I need to grind up. But uh, it looks like next time may be the final episode. I am disappointed about not being able to get the secret ending or whatever, but what can you do? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just look it up on my own on YouTube after I finish the game, I suppose, would probably be the best way to do it. But let's go ahead and head back to Bikini Bottom. I want to look around in SpongeBob's house a little bit since we have a little bit of extra time. Because um, this video would be short if I wasn't doing anything else and just see if there's anything I may have missed in here. Because there's some pretty early spatulas that I haven't gotten here. Your bikini bottom stinks. We have a picture of Sandy on our wall. Okay. Refreshed. Yeah, there's just nothing else in here, huh? Doesn't seem like it. I just thought I would check because we haven't been in here since the beginning of the game, so I thought maybe there would be some new stuff kind of hidden around here. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, this just seems to very, very much be a tutorial zone. All right, well, we still have some stuff outside the house in Bikini Bottom, I think. Because, yeah, we've... Yeah, there's... Let's see, on top of the pineapple, Spongebob's Closet, on top of the pineapple, boom. And then, yeah, there's one there. Where would that one be? Can we go in Squidward's house? Oh, I can. Oh. This is what the commenter was talking about, Those okay. stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. I didn't realize I could go in... I didn't realize I could go in Squidward's house at all. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, why do you have that picture of yourself on the wall? Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. I've been doing that all game. Had a lamp? I've been doing that all game, jumping around like an idiot. See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Oh, cool. Yeah, he actually gives us one just for jumping around like an idiot. Awesome. Well, look at that. There was a pretty easy spatula that we've missed since the beginning, I guess. Can we go in Patrick's house, too? We can. Whoa, okay, this is weird. Yeah, I just... Living under a rock. That's the life. Interesting. Oh, I destroyed a sofa and got a sock for it. Cool. Honestly, I always kind of liked Patrick's house just because it's very compact. For some reason, I write, like really, really small houses. It's it's pretty... a neat idea, basically. Like, everything's in one place. It, it would suck to have your toilet in the same room as your sofa, though. Or maybe your toilet is your sofa. Maybe you can get, like, a super wide toilet that functions as a sofa. As well as a wide toilet. Alright, Patrick, we have quite a few socks for you. I don't. You don't speak Italian. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna... We're not gonna hit a hundred spatulas, I don't think. We're gonna be, like, somewhere in the 90s, I believe, because there's only... 
two more left uh, in the final area. And then we have some we could buy from Mr. Krabs, and there's some more hidden in Bikini Bottom. Let's see, so... more. On top of the Chum Bucket, so... On top of Shady Shoals, on top of the Chum Bucket. Huh. I don't suppose there was another- there was one hidden in here, was there? Could be. Ah, checkers! The king of non-contact sports! Uh, no, I don't see anything really hanging out in here. Sorry, sorry lady. I don't- I don't know why I did that. Why did I punch the old lady? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, anything? Oh! Hey, a sock. Can I stand on you and get that? Okay, so I just- I just hit that thing and it gave me a sock. Interesting. I didn't think that was really gonna do anything. I was just kinda hitting it because it looked interesting. Alright. I don't see any more socks around here. Maybe there's one on top of the police department, but I have no idea how to get up there. Hmm. Yeah, oh wait. Yeah, isn't that what this was for? Yeah, that's what this was for. So we did that, and then it, yeah, gave us a little boosty thing to get up here. Yeah, and we could also... Was there... Did we get one for... Was there one on top of the, uh... Shady Shoals? Yeah. Okay. I don't see anything on top of Chum Bucket. I can't hit this bell. Alright, let's just continue on our merry way. There's Mr. Krabs. Don't have much use for him right now. I imagine one of them is probably in there. Probably the last one, but I don't know about this one. That one's a bit harder to find. You don't really get any hints for these, so I'm having quite a bit harder time finding all of them. Uh... Yeah... I mean, I would guess something to do with the Krusty Krab, but did I check to see if you could go in here or not? Oh, you can. Okay, so this is probably where it is. I feel like I should be working! Are you ready, kids? What am I doing? Set, go. Oh, is it an enemy gauntlet? I mean, that's not bad. If so, ow. Put that. Like a spring breeze. Oh, is it just respawning enemies? Time for a little sleepy sneak. Might be. You've just met the sponginator. I don't see any of the things up there, though. I do need to get up here to murder these guys, though. Would you guys quit that? You're very loud and obnoxious. So, let's see, I can get up here this way. And smack. I feel like a new sponge. So now what? Let's see, oh, there's the, there's where the uh, thing is spawning them. All right, cool, blow that up, and then we're good. Now I just have to kill the last bit of these enemies. Especially you assholes that never shut up. Ow. Yeah, clap for yourself. Now die. Alright, and you're the last one, friend. Dead. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Yeah, I just didn't realize you could enter the buildings a lot. Honestly, just being in SpongeBob's dream was what made me realize that's an option. So, is there anybody I talked to to potentially get a reward for this? Huh. I hope I didn't have to talk to Mr. Krabs outside, because I've kind of just assumed up, like, right now that he's just out there to, you know, sell me spatulas, but maybe I had to talk to him to accept the mission for clearing out the Krusty Krab? Uh, I hope not, because then I'll have to do that again, but not that it was too incredibly hard. Yeah, I don't see anybody to talk to, really. None of these people are like, oh, save me. I just came in here and cleared it, and that was it. Okay. Let's go back outside and see what Mr. Krabs says. Mr. Krabs? You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so luckily it just... If we walk in and do it without talking to him, we get the spatula anyway. Alright, so that's all the spatulas in Bikini Bottom except the final one, which I assume is in the theater. So I'm gonna have to do some grinding for pretty things off screen, but... Next episode could very well be the last, so 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bottom Rehydrated, and I will see you next time. <laughs>